Welcome to part number four of Gran Turismo 1. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're going to be doing Club and Stage Route 5. For Class C, I want to use the Unos Roadster, finally. And what color? I think it's marine or blue. There we go. Now for a tight city street. Not, it's not really tight, but it is a street course after all. I'm thinking the Unos Roadster could be a good match for this track. I'm really liking this car here. Already up to third. That's a Mirage and... What is that? Celica? Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but... Um, well, no, I, not that you can... Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, only because... On my screen, the game looks really pixelated. It's probably the capture card, but on your guys' screen, it doesn't. It's not, not really a big deal, though. Can't really expect much out of the PS1 game. This game is 20 years old, after all, which is crazy to think about. Like, I was in diapers when this game came out. <laughs> Celico's in the lead. We use the Mirage as a cushion. Yep, that's a Celica. That was a dirty tie rank on my end. Oh my god, that was so dirty. <laughs> and in dirty cheating fashion, we win at Club Mistake Route 5. If I had done that a second earlier, I would have been I would have been dead. Small margin of victory. Okay, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I did that at that time because that was decent timing, but that could have been so much worse. And on to Class B. Let's go to Honda and let's use the Integra. Yeah, let's use the Integra. Um, championship White. Here we are, on the grid, and away we go. One, two, three cars, okay, never mind. I was gonna say three cars went on the high side, but that wasn't the case here. The Arc 7 managed to come back down and close the door on me. Alright, man. Good to see you again, dude. Thanks for stopping by. That was a nice pass on the R33.
Okay, is the R33 gonna come back? Nope, not enough time, not enough room. And we win at Club Mistake Drop 5 again. I thought every car was gonna hit us. I guess not. Alright, time for Class A. Let's go to Subaru, because there's four of these Class A cars, and let's use the Legacy sedan. And away we go. Wow, that was a bit of a slow launch. Thought it would been a little bit faster because of the all wheel drive, but okay. Ah, it was just a dirty move on my end. The super out of the way like that. And the arc seven. And he returns the favor, of course. I don't blame you, buddy. I would too. <laughs> and a sex leading? Oh, of course. No surprises there. So focused on trying to get this lead back from the NSX. That car is clearly well suited for this track. Oh wow! The R7 came to run the party. Oh, did the slide job on him. Photo finish, we end up winning. Damn, top four separated by six tenths of a second, that's pretty good. And let's go ahead and see what we win. Grand Valley Speedway, alright. So there are three more prizes. I'm guessing, if I remember correctly, I mentioned on the first part of the of this LP, if I remember right, that those are manufacturers. I want to guess they are, but considering the fact that both regions, the United States, or all three regions, the United States, Europe, and Asia, all get different car manufacturers. Because I remember in the North American version, you get Chevrolet instead of Toyota, for example. So maybe it's those manufacturers? Let's see. But anyways, guys, that does it for this segment of Grand Turismo 1. Stay tuned for the next where we begin Autumn Ring. Again, I'm the Movie Chicane. Have an awesome day, everybody.